Hi guys, it's Clary. Today I decided that I was going to do a monthly favourite and I know this used to be really really popular back like a couple of years ago and I've never actually got around to doing one. I just want to quickly say that I'm so sorry for not being on YouTube for the last couple of months. I've actually been really busy um, doing other like stuff outside of YouTube like um, I've been doing my childcare coursework for a level um, two that I'm doing. And I've also been uh, learning my theory for driving because I'm really interested in learning how to drive. So I've been doing that and it's actually taken up a lot of time. So I haven't been able to like kind of have enough space to just do a YouTube video. So I just wanted to quickly explain myself why I haven't been um, so social at the moment. But I have been more social on my Twitter lately, which um, isn't an app that I normally use. So go and check that out if you want. It's um, Chloe Meadows one and my Instagram, as per usual, is Bay, and my Snapchat is Pebblesfur or it's Chloe Meadows. Let's just get onto it. So I'll start off with um, skincare, which I don't really do a lot with, but um, I have quite dry skin. And what I've been using um, for the past couple of weeks is this simple um, face moisturiser. It's really, really nice. It's um, I find that, even though I bought it recently, it's my first kind of simple product. I just use a little bit and it goes a long way. And I just really, really like this stuff. Like, it's really, really good. One thing I would say is, if you change the thing, I'd maybe put, like, a scent to it. Like, I don't know, an orange or a sweet scent to it. But other than that, I really, really like this. It's, like, my holy grail go-to um, face moisturiser. So, the last couple of months, I have really been using this, especially this month, which is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Foundation. And a lot of people actually go on about this, and I can see why, because it um, it does match my skin tone. I, I picked uh, Ivory Rose, which is quite pale, and I think it had them on all different shades, but I find it's almost like a concealer as well as foundation, because it definitely like covers my face. And when I've got spots, it kind of helps them to not look so kind of in your face and red, which is really gross, but I find this helps me. Really, like, actually, I haven't actually put concealer on since I've been wearing this, which I probably should still, but... With me, I find like, you know, it's covered my face so well that I don't feel like I need concealer on top of that. I do feel in my eyebrows because they're quite fair at the sides. The brow from Benefit, which just is like this. It comes with a stick, like a brush. You just twist it over, which would be nice. And um, you don't need too much either to like, like proper fill in. And since I've had that, I've be able to define my eyebrows more. It lasts me so long. It probably lasts me like a good six months at least. <laughs> it comes with a kind of white, a really like silver and a rose gold and then like a black and it just keep it. Here it says, um, got a little picture of an eye and numbers of like the colours. So like Right at the bottom, it's got the one, two, three, four under the dispel to shade, so you can tell which one's which. And then you put like the white one on first above your, the base of your lid, and then the grey on the outer corner, the rose gold on the inner corner, and then the black around your eye, the bottom of my eyelashes. And it's really nice because I'm really bad at doing smoky eyes. It really helps me a lot. From Lottie London um, in the Strobe Sticks, which is a cream highlighter, and it's quite shimmery when you put it on, but it's not too in your face. And I put it on like where you contour your face, like your nose and like above your cheeks, and like around here where my skin can be quite dry. It's nice; it gives you that kind of nice natural highlighty look. And I've been using this ever since, like for the last month. Like every day, I put it on. Like every day that I wear makeup, like full face makeup, I will put this on, even if I'm just going out for a couple of hours. Just before this month, I bought a new mascara because I ran out. Um, I would, I thought actually I'm gonna get the one that I've been watching, and I watch um Flora Princess's videos, uh, Anastasia, I think she's called, and she has been on in the past about this. Uh, mascara by Maybelline New York. It's the Lash Sensational um, Multiplying Mascara. It makes your eyelashes lick a lot longer, which I like. And well, who doesn't? 
For lipstick, I only actually use one lipstick, which is probably like, I don't really, I don't have the Kylie Jenner stuff, I just go for MAC, and I've got another MAC one, but I don't really like it that much. But this one, I've heard a lot about, is in the shade Velvet Teddy, which is a matte, and it's like a nudie brown. It lasts me so long, because you don't know how much I've used it. One that I use for contouring, which I love, is this, uh, what, the contour brush. That's what's actually cool, wouldn't it? It's really, that's like, I um, cleaned it earlier, so it's a little bit wet, and doesn't look quite the same, but it makes me, it helps to have like a nice contoured face. A stippling brush for my foundation, if I don't use the blending brush, I use this one here, and it, um, again, it helps to have the full coverage with my, make, uh, my foundation to put it all around. And um, it doesn't have any brush lines or anything if I don't do it too hard, which I really like. Because when it dries, you'll see like where you've rubbed your makeup around. So um, it kind of helps them to smooth them out. I bought this one a couple of years ago now, and it's my favorite, almost all time favorite. It's in the smell Summer Slices, but like it's a watermelon y type smell. And I just like, like that. It's lasted me a good two years because <laughs> I tried to find it again online because I bought this in a shop but then I tried to find it online because the shop that I go to is, isn't where I live so uh, I was like oh, I'll go on Amazon or something but I haven't really found it again so I didn't want to use it up so it's lasted me all this time and I've started to use it now because that was a bit more summery I've used all my winter ones up um, I need to go sh uh, candle shopping again soon I've been using the Victoria's Secret Strawberries Edge Champagne um, scent, which is, it comes in quite a big bottle, but that's what I love about because it lasts for so long. And again, I had this for my birthday last year when I turned 18. Um, and I haven't actually used a lot of it. Um, I did for a long time and I changed up again because I really like the smell, but I keep on changing my scents here and there. But this month I've gone back to this because I haven't used it for a while. And um, I probably used more this month than the last month that I used it because I was just trying to get used to it but um, it's not too in your face smell, it's not too strong and it's not too kind of uh, weak um, but it's like a fragrance mist and I've used their um, a couple of their shower gels I had a shadow with this, I can't remember what um, the scent it was but it was really nice so that was my monthly favourites, I hope you enjoyed that get a thumbs up if you did um, and also comment anything down below uh, I'm saying that you like my videos or anything that you want to do in the future. I am thinking about doing a um, come driving with me type video if you're interested in watching that because I have been taking driving lessons and I've been doing my theory lately, like I said earlier. Um, and I was just interested if you guys wanted to see that. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!